Hello folks, it's Homestar92, and welcome to the next episode of Let's Play LEGO Harry Potter Years 1-4. through 4. In the last part, I don't remember what we did, because it's been about a week since I had an opportunity to record, because, you know, moving back into college and whatnot. Um, which... This isn't going to be any different for you. You're going to see this right in line with my normal upload schedule, so, you know, it's... No different for you, but it is different for me. And um, in this part, we're going to use the disguises extra, as well as the double studs, just because the disguises are humorous. And yes, they do carry over into cutscenes. Ooh, there's an orange, or a purple there. Which, oh yeah, purples are now worth 20,000. It's easy to forget about that. But uh, we need to go the direction of this ghost. And I don't remember what I was doing last time I picked up, so this should be exciting. And, you know, as for me and my partners in crime, we, 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 so excited. I'm sorry. I, I should have to turn in my YouTube card for that one. I just noticed that, like, paintings of famous witches and wizards are all Lego. Don't know how I missed that. I'm guessing we're going over here. I shouldn't try to run ahead. Uh, my new... In my dorm room, my seat is lower to the ground than at home so it kind of messes with the contrast a bit so I'm seeing the game a bit darker than I'm used to couple that too with the fact that this is a darker segment of the game mm. but uh, here we have another defense against the dark arts class with Lupin and we got interrupted by a rat I forgot to check the time before I started recording but I've got my watch so I know where we are now, and I would reckon we're probably about three minutes in. But we're going to learn the Patronus charm, so that Harry doesn't have to deal with the horrible, unpleasant things that happen when they are nearby. And, unfortunately, Harry still doesn't know Ridiculous. And I'm guessing this is not... Yeah, this is just a Hogwarts segment. And my phone is going off. I forgot about that. I'm assuming I need to open that first, and then cast the Patronus to take care of that guy. And of course it will take five Patronus charms for me to learn the material. And that's two of them. There's a lot of stuff in here that we can do things with. In fact, we actually had to make that go away. But, uh, I don't know why I'm spending time with this stuff, but I like the ha whole fact that I can inflate that Lego head. Uh, I think the first thing I should do, though, is get all of the chests we need to work with down on the ground. So first we need to freeze that pixie, and that's th number three and four. I don't know where number five would be. But it's not back here. So we'll worry about that when it comes to time. For now, we have a Patronus to cast. And we missed. And I had to get that blue before it went away, because if I missed out on a blue one, it would actually be largely insignificant, because they don't go toward anything in this part of the game. Come on, come back out. There's a balance, too. You have to be close enough to cast the charm, but far enough away where you don't get affected by the, the mentor. And there's a fifth one somewhere. But I don't know where it is. So that's going to be a problem. I assume if I hit all these things, then I'll be able to build something that will provide the container that I need. And my phone is going off again. Of course I have an iPhone, so that's probably the same message. And it's probably just ringing twice, because that's what the iPhone does. There's obviously something I'm missing here. Could it be, like, behind this thing? No, it could not. Alright, I know this has got to be, like, something simple. And I'm completely missing it. But I just can't find this stupid thing anywhere. And I've probably passed it like four times now. Oh, that's clever. That's very clever. 
And Terminus number five, totally missed. Like a doof. I almost said doofball. I guess I'm combining doofball and doofus. Uh, but that's all five of them, so we now know Expecto Patronum. Which I do not recommend um, looking up on Urban Dictionary. Now that I've said that, you're all going to. I should just watch what I say. I don't recommend it. Don't do it. It's bad, okay? Now I need to get out of here. What do I do to do that? There's probably a door open on this end. And now we're going to be like 10 minutes in and starting a level. Which is going to lead to this part being longer than most. Hope that's not the case, but there's not much I can do if it ends up being that way. And yeah, we're heading to the uh, courtyards, so it's quite possible. And I don't know which direction I'm supposed to be going, I guess over here. Mm -hmm. They really should probably start the ghosts near you. It would seem to be the most logical thing to do. But whatever. Doesn't really matter to me, I don't guess. Yeah, I am concerned that this video is going to either have to be really short or really long, depending on where I cut it off. And he has us going to Hagrid's, which means we're probably starting an actual level. So, looks like we're having a long episode, unless I decide to split this into two. But, I mean, I guess that's perfectly reasonable that I might decide to do that. By the way, do you like how I waited until after the Fade to Black came back for me to finish that thought, just in case I split it? That's a little trick I recommend to Let's Players. Be aware of places where you might need to split the video, and kind of give yourself an opportunity to make a clean transition. Just kind of find a place to shut up. And I love the disguises. It just makes these, it enhances these cutscenes to a ridiculous level. But now Hagrid, of course, is kicking us out because he has biz important business to attend to. So, unfortunately, it is Buckbeak's time. He's going to be exterminated. Only not by a Dalek, because, you know, that would be cross-series jumping. And why is the Whomping Willow Lego, but none of the other trees are? I don't understand. And there's that dog we saw back in wherever it is that... I guess that's Surrey slash Little Whinging. And this is an actual level. But it might be a shorter one, since it does look like the True Wizard Bar is filling up very fast, even considering that we have double. And uh, there's a dig spot there. That shouldn't be a problem, because Hermione has her cat. So we'll be able to get that in no sweat. And we do have to avoid being hit by the Wampus Willow, because it will do damage. So this is a regular boss battle that I'm wasting by collecting lots of studs. Because this is a platformer. Collecting miscellaneous objects is more important than the actual task at hand. Until I meet an untimely death trying to do it. There is also the approach of just change characters right before you would normally take damage. And that can save you some hits. So, see, with the cat, we've only taken one hit of damage. Now, when because with Harry, we had taken two. That's going to require Dark Wizard to do anything with, so... Nothing to be done there. And I think I get what we have to do in this battle, so we just have to wait for him to attack again. With, like, his actual tree fist of... Treeness. I don't think treeness is a word. In fact, I'd be willing to wager a lot of money that treeness is not a word. And when we do that, it causes one of those three tentacles to suck in. This has been, by far, my most disturbing episode in terms of commentary. I guess that's what happens when I take a week break. 
which that's kind of I shouldn't even mention that because as far as you guys are concerned every week I take a week break assuming I've kept the same upload schedule it's quite possible that um, my upload schedule has changed by now since it's if I stick to that schedule it's gonna be a long time before you see this video plenty of opportunity for me to change the way I handle recording and one more hit will kill me so we need to avoid getting hit one more time except we failed to do so and I don't think we lost any studs though so what's the point of taking damage it doesn't even hurt you and that will do it and that'll take in all three of his hits I heard money bounce somewhere let me hear the money talk it's not there okay uh, but this is weird because it doesn't give you the name of the level until the end of it. Most of them, as soon as you're in the level, you'll see the name of it pop up on screen. This level is the Shrieking Shack, but um, it's not... It didn't tell you that right away, which is abnormal. And I am lucky that I was fast on switching to Hermione because she still had... Um, she was still up on that ledge. I guess there's nothing I can do with that flower. Fortunately, I can do what I need to do with that one, so... But there must be something I can do with it. Oh. I need a different spell, maybe? I don't know. I don't quite understand what needs to be done here. Because that should be working. And I don't have a way to get up. So there's obviously something I need to do. Oh, I see. That moves that thing and doesn't do anything toward giving me a way up. Which is all well and good, but it doesn't really help me. Unless I needed that to be there. And now it's going to grow like a beanstalk thing. Okay. Okay. So that's what that flower was for. Another mystery solved, gang. And as I've said before, at this point, this is a blind let's play. I have not played this far in the game before, so you're experiencing this fresh with me. Where these blue ones are always really nice when you have double studs turned on. And we have a puzzle. Interesting. Lego Harry Potter is unique in that of the Lego platformers, it is definitely the most puzzle oriented like lego batman is almost entirely combat lego star wars has a decent chunk of them and there's little to no combat in lego harry potter compared to the other ones it's almost entirely puzzles and that's totally fine it certainly makes for easier commentary because you know when you're in the heat of combat you just kind of don't really want to commentate you just kind of want to finish the level and you kind of get in the zone of the combat and then you don't get anything done. And my phone needs to stop going off, although that is actually a good text message. That was a text message from my mother saying that my brother's dog who had ran away was found. So today is a happy day, I suppose. He was found at the local shelter. I don't know why I'm telling you this. This seems irrelevant to your guys' interests. But I'm sure you actually do care, and yeah, already we have True Wizard, and we are probably not even, not quite halfway through. And I just broke Hermione. We need to be on the platform when it goes up, and then that'll make that a lot easier. And that should be the third and final one of those, and I see the fifth flower, so that's good too. And the little platform is right there waiting for us. So we have the Hufflepuff House Crest, which is an improvement over, I think it was the last level, where we managed to get a whopping zero of them. And, you know, this is actually in the movie. This is a really gripping and emotional scene, and these disguises just completely take away from that. Or maybe, like I said, maybe they are enhancing it. So Harry attacked Snape. Um, you know, attacking one of your teachers is enough to get you expelled from any school 
but in the land of Hogwarts, you can kill one of them, attack another one two years later, and that's just hunky-dory, because what do we care, right? Um, I'm gonna do a quick scan for stuff I can interact with here. It doesn't really matter in terms of getting True Wizard, obviously, because I have that. And actually, we need Lupin for this level. Because we need this orange spell. And I need to silence my phone. I'm gonna do that. Silenced. And I need to find something. Does he count as a dark wizard? He doesn't. I suppose that would be a spoiler if you aren't familiar with the story. And we can chase Scabbers right out of that one. And I'm guessing that in video games there's a rule of threes. I'm guessing it applies here. It would be sensible for it to apply. I need to find the guy before I can do anything, though. I hear him. I have really good headphones on these things. Oh crap, is my mic muted? Thank goodness it's not. I was quite concerned about that. And is the rule of threes going to apply for us, or do we need to chase him around more? He's going to run to that sofa. I can get him immediately. It's also possible that he has to run to every possible hiding place before this segment will end. Um, and I think that expires the supply. Yep, because now we can use Wingardium Leviosa to build some kind of thing. I don't know what... Oh, cute. Giant mouse trap. And out he shall come in just a matter of seconds. This is not what happened in the movie, just for the record. <laughs> oh, the disguises. I love it. This might become a permanent staple of this Let's Play. This is the greatest thing I've ever seen in my life. Not gonna lie. The photo had been tampered with, I see. I wish I had photographs where I could just kind of pan around and change the angle. They are working on a photo technology, though, where you can take the picture and then you can adjust the focus after the fact. I don't understand from a physics standpoint how you can make a lens where that's even possible. Because I would guess that for that to be possible, the entire photo would need to be in focus when you take it. And I don't, I don't even think that's possible. But surprise, Lupin was a werewolf. As if we didn't as if we haven't all seen the movies and know about this. But uh, Scabbers, in case you couldn't really tell what was going on, Scabbers is not Scabbers, basically. Scabbers, Ron's rat, was actually Peter Pettigrew. And we need Hermione's cat here, because there's a digging spot. And digging spots usually contain something worthwhile. I can't do anything with it right now, so um, either I need to find more of them, or that requires a spell we don't currently have access to. But I should stop goofing around, because this part's gonna, this episode is going to run long, and on top of that, I don't need to get to wizard status, so there's not really a big pressing need for me to collect studs and stuff. I guess Ron is out of commission anyway, so we're not going to be rescuing him. And I like how the minute I try to move these things, they immediately, like, fade out. I think the best thing to do here is to build myself a staircase. So I'm going to offset this slightly, because it'll stick. I didn't need to, though. Still was worth a shot, and we don't have a cupboard, so we can't do anything with the mandrake yet. We will need to have access to a cupboard before we can. We don't have a overly strong character, so there's nothing we can do about that right now, either. Um, that lever, I'm guessing, probably moves that thing up. Um, I believe Fang, Hagrid's dog, counts as a strong character, which I would love to see the animation for that. For, like, him opening a 
or pulling a lever like that. But I don't think we'll get two. Although I think Werewolf Lupin counts as one. And I believe so does um, someone, so does Sirius as a dog. And that should give us the uh, skeleton arm that we need for our potion. And this flower is brown, and that won't do. It has to be a purple flower. Because brown flowers can't be used in potions. Colors matter. But that piece was easy to get, and I'm sure that the third one is just going to involve growing another one of those little plant things and having it be the correct color. I just need to find where one of those would be. Um, I, you would think that we could just use the ones that are different color. I would like to think that shouldn't be that important, but maybe it's past that thing. Can I just walk past it? I can. Oh, I know exactly what I would need that for. Okay. That other container was glass, so I would use that to break the glass. Maybe what I need is up there, but how do I get up there? Oh, it's in there. That's gonna be the one. Yep. Perfect. Strength potion. Come here. Then we can do the lever. I wonder if Hermione will need the strength potion since her cat needs to get up there. I guess it would depend on what happens when we pull the lever. Okay, yeah, we definitely didn't. It definitely didn't matter who got the strength potion. Um, I'd be interested in seeing what that exposes. Oh, ladder. And of course, one, later on, when we have a particular spell, we'll be able to bust that lock, and we'll be able to use any character to handle the mandrakes. Although, if Madame Pomfrey is playable in free play, then we can save ourselves some time. She can handle them just regardless. So we don't even need, if we can play as her, we don't even really need um, the earmuffs. And there's our student in peril, we can save him. Cast complete. I'm sure these dark wizard things contribute to at least one house crest, so we'll be able to work with that later. This should be the end of the level though. As Lupin runs off to meet with something that he heard. But no, there's actually more level. And I think I can imagine what we're going to need in this scene. Because I remember the scene in the movie. We're finally going to get a chance to use the Expecto Patronum curse. Or, well, I don't really know if it's a curse. This spell in actual gameplay. Or they're just going to cut scene the entire thing. But it looks like someone else helped us out. And good thing, too, because we are pretty much a sitting duck at this point, so... You know, level complete, though. No need to worry about it, because the Deus Ex Machina will save us. Only got one house crest. I'm a bit bummed about that. I don't know if any others were available in story mode, though. True Wizard has been not even close to being an issue ever since the times 2 multiplier. I love that cheat. And we are close to three quarters of a million studs. Student in Peril gives us a gold brick. Easy peasy. And that should bring our total up to 65? 66? Wow, we got three that video. Coolio. I promise I'll never use that as an expression again. But, uh... I don't remember. Is there one more level in Prisoner of Azkaban, or is that the last one? I guess there's, there would be one more level, actually, but we're not going to be able to play as Harry. Anyway, somewhere in here, there's a red brick to be had. And Ron seems to be injured. I'm not going to look for that red brick, though, because we're already running a bit long. So, in the next part, we are going to take on what I believe to be the final level of Year 3. And, yeah. Hope you guys have enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Later.